What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today we have a nice fruit bowl right here and this is what we do almost every single day here on the ranch because it is evening on the ranch and today what we have to go do, what we do every other day, we have to go feed Petrie and the skunk and I'm going to show you some of the things that's been going on here at the ranch and on top of that we have a predator here on the ranch. Once again, we live in a rural area I guess you could say and there's animals out here, there's predators out here and they want to eat just like all the other animals here, they want to eat too. So I'm going to show you what's going on and show you some of the signs that I have here on the ranch to show you that the predator is here. Here is my uh, lovely guy Petrie, looking very interesting right now. He just woke up from his uh, whole on sleeping time during the day because they are nocturnal animals. So let's feed this guy real quick, um, see how he's doing, let's see how he acts with the camera today. Here Petrie. I got your favorite food right here, bananas, grapes, we got green peas, apples, uh, corn, uh, I mean, you know, all sorts of different things. We can keep it locked here because he is actually a very, very little smart little animal. And um, we don't have a lock here, he's going to be able to open it up and we're going to have a peach tree running around the ranch and that's not going to be too fun. So peach tree, come here. Look at this, you guys. Peach, hey. There we go. Hey, relax. Say hi to the people. You're good? You guys been following me on TikTok, you've been seeing that we've been doing a bunch of little uh, videos. Little videos here on the ranch with Petrie and all different types of stuff here. Just showing you little like 15 to 60 second vlogs on TikTok. But um, my boy Petrie. Hey, Petrie. Here you go. There you go, big guy. All right, I'm gonna give him the rest of his food and then we're gonna go see Fluffy and show you how he's doing. Make sure you guys are always checking out all of the recent videos because you guys are missing out all of the stuff that's getting done here at the ranch. Willie's new home just got done. It looks great. He's loving it. He's actually right over there grazing on his little section now doing you know, just pig things. Uh, the cichlids are just growing up a storm. Look at them all over there. We probably have just about, I don't know. How many of you guys think? Put it in the comments. How many cichlids and tilapia do you guys think are down below? All the call ducks are living their best life. Lexi, doing what Lexi does. A little female eclectus here on the ranch. Uh, what else? What, what else we have? What else we have? I'll show you Big G real quick. Big G, same thing. Big G's always growing. You can see all those growth lines. Big old Galapagos tortoise. You just hit about a year old. Here you go, Big G. I'll give you a little treat right here. Even though you ate earlier today. There you go. Go get that. There you go, big guy. Grub it up. Grub it up. There you go. One, two, bite. That is going to be gone in just a few seconds. So let's move on this way. And we're going to go and run into these turkeys. Uh, all the baby turkeys are actually... I'm sorry about the sun. You know, we're outside. It's not going to be perfect. But um, all the baby turkeys are actually doing very, very well. They're right there. Go check them out. As you can see, there's only six, but that's. Sorry, let me let me let me get close to you guys. That's common, you know. Every every single thing's not gonna uh, survive to adulthood. But there are juvenile royal palms right here. They're doing good. We're gonna keep all the hens. So hopefully, there's a bunch of hens and any toms. They're gonna um get put to somebody else's house, one of my buddies' house. You know, it's really funny too. Uh, some of the silkies were laying on some chicken eggs, and the turkeys were doing it at the same time. Silky and the turkey. So the turkey. And the silky are actually protecting one chick that hatched, which is pretty funny. Check it out right over here. Hopefully he survives. I mean, it's been here for about two weeks now. Look at that little dude. Look at that little dude running. He's silky mixed normal chicken, but the turkey and the silky are actually protecting him. And by doing that, that is helping a lot for all the animals here not to uh, destroy him. And she's like part of the little squad now. So take a look over here now. We got Fluffy right here. Fluffy is a, uh, you know, interesting little guy. Fluffy dude, eat that grape. Go over there. Oh, oh, oh. Go back that way. Get the grape. 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 There you go. Yeah, I don't think he has that great uh, sense of, like, he can't really see that well because he's obviously albino. But he definitely gets smell and he has a very uh, good sense of smell and hearing. The little guy. He's an interesting little dude. But Fluffy is pushing years, I'll tell you that much. The person that we got him from said when he what we got him he was my god he has a big old nut sack he was like um already like 10 15 years old and he's been here now for almost a year and a half two years so living his best life look at the turkey squad that's a that's a freaking turkey family right there that is pretty dope now let's get into what i needed to show you guys and the reason why i wanted to show you today's video is what's going on here at the ranch all right so we cut down the eastern herman tortoise area a lot because we've been expecting a lot of uh, Eastern Herman eggs actually let me check right here real quick and hold on 
You got to put your fingers all around here, see if you feel any eggs. And I don't think there's anything in that one. Spoke too soon. But in the last couple days, we've been getting a couple clutches, which has been pretty great. Except when you get bit by a red ant, it doesn't feel too well. Other than that, Maya is living her best life right over there. You got bit? Yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah, I just got me too. Look at Maya. Hey, Maya. Hello, Maya. Oh, yeah? Hi, Maya. Okay, you're going to need a grass trimming soon. That's why we have tortoises in there very soon. But uh, let's walk this way. Yeah, everybody's eating very well. Everyone's living their best life. Everyone's doing great. We've been collecting all the eggs because if we're not collecting the eggs in time, that's the problem we're having. I've never had that problem here in, in over. You got to like watch these turtles. They do these certain little like boop, boop, boop movements. That's like signs that they're going to be laying eggs soon. Uh, but um, in 10 years of living here, I've never had raccoons that have touched my eggs. But... Every day is a different day on the ranch, and every single day is a different day for all you and I and everybody else in this world. And uh, today, in the last couple days, we caught one raccoon. If you were following me on Instagram, you guys saw that we caught a raccoon and released it very, very far away. But when there's one raccoon, there's probably more raccoons. We take the raccoons out of here every couple months, but then a new family comes by, and they say, Oh my God, we just hit a freaking feast jackpot food world of animals here to eat so um they have to eat too so i don't really like killing the animals i know everybody on the thing is gonna be like oh they're predators you gotta kill them no they don't need to die the end of the day yeah you smell that that's because they've been getting the eggs now check a look over here we'll start over here they have been getting they they found like rotten eggs and they didn't like those so like look down here look at that see right here you guys see that white eggs broken those are from raccoons to come this way more all right this side didn't get rated that much. All right, actually, this is a good example right here. Look at all the little holes. You guys see those holes? Hole, hole, hole. Raccoons make little teeny holes, and then they look for eggs. Now, let's walk back that way. I'm going to show you the spotted turtle area. That place, insane. Let's go, okay, look. All right, look at this, look at this, look at this. Over here. So there's one hole in the back. I know where they're coming from, but there's no point of me stopping them coming in here right now because they're just going to dig in another way and then uh, that's going to be another hole for me to fix. So I just want to catch every single one of them. There's actually a trap right now in the back that is set in place with a little bit of cat food and he is going to be like, oh my God, I just got a little feast right there. So let's hit that and then try to go everywhere else. But he's only, oh my God, this is insane. I saw it this morning. Take a look over here. Oh my God. I think the spotted turtles actually laid eggs and I didn't even notice it. Because look at this. That's that's really upsetting. The spotted turtles actually started laying eggs ready and the raccoons found them. I didn't even notice that. Yep, they've been finding them. That's what it is. I didn't even see that one today. I really I swear I didn't even see that one today. I noticed all this. Look at all this. Holes everywhere. I literally like there's holes absolutely it looks like a whole family was in here. There probably was a whole family in here. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. But that is really upsetting because I guess the spotted turtles did lay eggs. It's upsetting, but it's actually a plus. The plus is that they're actually happy and they're laying eggs, so that's a good plus. But the downfall, obviously, is we could have had um, some more spotted turtles in here to show off and just have a beautiful colony to grow. But unfortunately, the raccoons got them. But we will live and we learn, and predators got to eat too. But we're going to catch them up and bring them very, very, very far away. But that's crazy that they actually laid eggs in here. That's really, really cool. That's that we have very happy, strong little wood, uh, spotted turtles. Let me see if I can show you one real quick, if I can find any. They're very, very hard to find. Well, I can show you more proof right now. Take a look over here. Saw this earlier today, this morning. Watch out for spider webs. Keep your heads up, everybody. So there's just absolutely holes all throughout here. Holes, holes, holes. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Look at this. More egg holes. More broken eggs, white eggs all right there. Now take a look right over here. Look right there on the side. Zoom into that right there. You guys see that? That is a big gile, giant thing of poop right there. Now, if it was like, I know, Steve Irwin from Australia, you know Steve Irwin, Australian Zoo, he would have saw that, he would have freaking grabbed that thing and like looked at it and did a bunch of weird stuff to the poop and would have said what it is. That right there, I can tell you for a fact, it's not a damn dog. It is 100% a raccoon. Like, look at the hole that they dug right there. What would be really cool, I was telling my mom and sister today, or Cassandra's right here, would be if you had a trained raccoon to actually walk around and smell out the eggs that you can't find, which would be pretty dope. Maybe in the future, put some time into something and do something like that. But look at this. They got everything over here. They got all the rest of the eggs in here, too. They're just smelling out the eggs. But right now, they're eating the eggs, which is 
sucks really bad, but at least they're not touching the adults. So um, that's okay. But look, check a look. Walk one more step. Trap is right there. Placed, ready to go. The way they're coming in is right over there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a hole right down there. And they're squeezing through that. And it's probably dark. Mm -mm. Okay. No, um, that, that way is dark. Okay. okay. They are squeezing through there, and that's the way they're coming in. They're going through there, they're coming around, and they're just having a freaking Easter egg hunt inside of here. But uh, we got to stop that so that we can keep on having clutches of eggs here and to keep on putting more beautiful turtles on this earth. But we have to stop these predators. Uh, yeah, so pretty much what's been going on here at the ranch. A lot of different crazy, unique things. Show you one more thing, and then we're going to wrap it up. Thing one, thing two, living their best life, doing great, doing amazing. And we are just about a month and a half away when Greg Woodstock, Ed the Professor, the whole Aquascape team is going to be here and is going to get this whole entire pond done. It's going to be dope. It's going to be amazing. And that's when we're able to finish the aviary. We're literally just waiting for that. Everything is ready in place, ready to go. It's going to take them three days to knock that out. Then it's going to take me another two more days to plant and make this place look absolutely beautiful. And then shebang, net goes up, and then we can start getting some amazing birds for you guys inside of this aviary. Well, really for me, but to show you guys all through the lens. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the channel always. Like all my videos. I really appreciate that. And um, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone.